Hello guys, uh, time for another video. So in this video I'm going to go over how I created or the key steps in creating a spreadsheet like this. So it's not going to be step by step but just uh, it's going to give you the tools in order to be able to create um, spreadsheets like this where you can uh, amalgamate data for certain key regions and then just um, monitor your spreadsheet rather than having many 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 tabs open either with free resources on the internet which will take you forever to bring together and waste so much of your own time and so you'll be able to consolidate all the data in one spreadsheet and be able to monitor different economic uh, zones and countries and whatnot so uh, this probably captured your attention from the general overview video so how is this done so if i just minimize this essentially you just need two formulas so the formula here that i'm showing you should pause now and take note of this formula i'll click on here to see where it's referencing so b2 is the index it's referencing which is the spx and then a3 is telling where the data should be displaying okay now it's also saying to display on a monthly interval but you can change the intervals to daily weekly monthly quarterly and yearly and these are the codes that you'd want to change them to um, and it's displaying them all, all the way back to that many cells so it's uh, the data here i'll show you to where it's beginning from but it's around 1928 and we're getting the close of end of every month for the spx which is the s p 500 the biggest stock market in the world um, so you'd want to use this formula to display index prices or etf stocks bonds fx pairs commodity prices crypto cot reports things like that things that have a live price to them so if I click enter here, so what we've got is a year over year formula, which you can do if you wish, or whichever way you wish to slice and dice your data. If I just delete all the data, so we can see back to 1928, click delete. Um, I can go to the Thomson Reuters term uh, uh, plugin. Um, there's a formula builder here, which accompanies the um, user manuals, which I've got in the description linked below. Um, there's some templates there. You can insert charts and whatnot. Please do have a go. See what all the buttons do. As I always say, just mess around with things. And if I click refresh the worksheet, so you can refresh all workbooks if you've got multiple workbooks, a workbook, a sheet, a selection, etc. So I'm just going to say refresh this worksheet. So if I click refresh now. There we go, it's got all the data going back. So now what you can do is highlight across and everything. Uh, insert, insert a line chart and you can start creating very, very nice looking charts. So what we can do is we're looking at everything here, which can be a bit much. So let's go to um, 1999. That gives us at least two business cycles. And we put the year over years on a separate axis let's move this to the top let's then also edit the the um, scales and so what we can get here is whoops uh, let's undo there undo again and say the minimum say minus 0.5 and most at 0.5 so there we can get a really good chart there showing us the s p year over year returns on a monthly scale for the last two business cycles versus the actual s p 500 so you may be saying well why not do this in in um in um in the actual platform you can do but when you're monitoring several countries out there or more than say say 10 countries having that many things open in icon can also be problematic as well as in it just takes a bit longer to load and if you've built out a sheet say one spreadsheet to monitor each country or say a spreadsheet to monitor say five countries you can just come in click it come in um, press refresh on the all the spreadsheets all your charts update and with in a couple of clicks you can see all the data a la what you see here Right, so that's for live prices, but now we, we want to see for economic data as well. So if we go to sheet two, this is the second formula you need to see. Okay, so this is the formula for the to display economic data. Again, take note of what 
uh, the cells are referencing. So the blue part is referencing the RIC codes for the different parts of, in this case, the ISM. And the RIC codes you get from the platform, just type in what you're looking for, or like I've shown in the overview video, uh, you want to just uh, download a whole dump of the economic data from different regions and then filter for the economic data that you wish to look at. You know, things like so over here, I have a list of common data points that people tend to look at PMI, sentiment, housing, retail, sales, unemployment, GDP for each nation. So you can just put them in there. B2 is referencing today's date. OK, so that means it will, it will refresh under today's date. So I can show you the formula for how that's been picked up in Excel as well. And then again, interval one month is the interval of the data. So if the data point is a weekly data point or if it's a monthly data point, quarterly, etc., you need to make sure that the correct time frame is being selected. A5 then tells where to start populating the dates so then the data can start displaying. So that's enough of that and you can move the the box to take over more or take over less if you wish to do year over years then the year over years would have to start displaying here and then you would start with another formula um, from my experience you can have many many formulas in the spreadsheet and it doesn't slow down the spreadsheet so don't so don't worry about that um, so and then the latest date formula is that so if you just type that formula in it will give you the latest date and time etc um, so you can make sure that your spreadsheet is up to date. So then all that's left to do then is to click refresh for the worksheet. And it's retrieving, it's retrieving, it's still retrieving. There we go. And there we have all parts of the ISM and everything displaying all the way back to when the data first began. So we'll go all back, so yeah. So back to 1960. So you got all the data that you need. Um, and you can just repeat this process for every single economic data that you want to display, change the names, titles, blah, blah, blah. And then slowly but surely, you will produce a sheet that has this for the United States, uh, ISM stuff, NMI stuff, uh, retail sales stuff, you know, GDP, whichever piece of data you want to show, China data, global manufacturing PMIs, so services PMIs, ESI, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, whichever data you want to look at for whichever regions, however you wish to organize it. And that's, the, that's how you would go about doing it. Okay, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Any questions, do ask me in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, there is a referral link in the subscription in the description below. If you think Metastock or organizing your data like this will be helpful, please use that referral link. They have a free for one offer. That's three months for one month price currently. So that's $99 for the price of three months right now, and then it's $99 thereafter. It is great, insane value. It will save you a lot of time, and it will make you probably a lot of money in the long run if you stick with trading. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next video.